here to be just an old wacko sitting on the street telling the people about Jesus as they passed by. And because he was all raggedy and dirty, people would just laugh and make fun of the old man and walk him back. And he said, because of the way I am, no money, no fancy clothes, fine homes and cars, a lot of people consider me as nothing and say I don't know what I'm talking about. But there's one thing that he said that really touched my heart and stayed on my mind. When that old man looked up and said, I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody who can say
Giving our praises to my Lord and Savior on the top of the Lord. Uh, Reverend Turner, Sister Turner, welcome. And all the other ministers and pastors on Sister At this time, I do want to acknowledge our visitors, if we have any this morning. And I know, Julie, I don't want to have to call you out. <laughs> I know who you are. Come on, tell me then, Quinta. Tell me who you are in the church. My name is Annie Allen. I belong to New Jerusalem Christian Baptist Church. I came to visit my grandmother. Amen. 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 That's uh, that's, uh, no, no, that's no, no, Pastor Nutt. Pastor Nutt, you bring in greetings and blessings from Old Bethlehem. Amen. 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 All right, come on. <laughs> Your visitor? Amen. I'm sorry. Come on. My name is Xavier Phillips. I come from St. Louis Baptist Church. Amen. 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 Well, that's my son. <laughs> okay. Amen. All right. Well, God bless you. Amen. We want to welcome everybody here this morning. What a mighty God. We serve, and you know what, y'all? I'm just so glad to be in the mix because, right. they, you know what? God saw fit to wake me up, and I am yeah. 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 you, know, yeah. no, you know, I don't have no kind of no kind of hang-ups. I don't have no bad attitudes. All you right. Know, you know, some of us have the bad attitudes, right. y'all. All right. So God's good, y'all, because he saved me. And I was, you know, I was no bad, but God saved me. He saw right. fit to save me, y'all. Yeah. Oh, you know, my husband clapped. I would take care of us all. <laughs> you know, I would take care of us all this morning to just have a good attitude, y'all. Yeah. To, to, to just praise the Lord because mm -hmm. he is worthy. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Bless you, Sister Jackson. <laughs> we can open, open the door to the church. Amen. <laughs> Amen. God bless you. Uh, it's prayer time, church. I do have a couple of names to put on the prayer list. Uh, a friend of mine named Al Green. That's his name. I don't know if his mother or father loved Al Green, but he was named after him. He had a heart attack last Monday. He was in the hospital. Non-responses. Uh, his wife told me that on Tuesday they was going to pull him off the ventilator. So we want to pray for Shirley. Her name is Shirley, and they have three girls. And we want to pray for that family. We pray for my sister Sandra Lafleur, the one that joins us. Sunday school, and we want to continue in prayer for Sister Amory Williams and her family also. Patricia Thomas. And Patricia Thomas. We're adding all these to our prayer list. We all add Pastor Laverne and his family too. Thanks, Because, uh, I might be looking happy on the outside, but I'm not immune to Satan's temptation, amen? So, I thank the Lord for keeping my mouth closed, amen? You know, and listen sometime, and you'll find out that that person is reaching out to you for some reason, and I just pray for him, amen? The hidden family. We'll put them on our prayer list. The Casey Moore family. We want to pray for that family. The Moore family. We want to pray for our church of Bethlehem. Our community too. Is amen. Let the Lord continue to do a work. 
in our church and our community. Amen. Get one to pray for our candidates this morning for baptism. Yes, Amen. Yes, yes, yes. I know. I know. It takes a lot of courage to walk down these aisles and to testify that the Lord has touched you in one way or another.
the Lord. Amen. 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 We're so happy today on this pastor's aid program that we have this morning. And we want to thank the Lord for sending us a powerful man of God. And he's no stranger to most of us. Uh, neither is his wife. Because we know them from Galilee Baptist Church. Amen. But this morning we're excited to have them here. Uh, amen. 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 So, without further ado, I want to introduce to you our speaker. Uh, I've been doing it for several years now. Worship together many times. Amen. And I could feel the spirit in this man wow. that was like a magnet that drew you <laughs> to him. You know that glow that the Bible talks about? When you got that glow, you attract people, wow. you attract sinners. Yep. Amen. Because they want to know how do you and why do you have this joy when we're just coming out of pandemic, you smile, and you're always positive. So, when we thought about it, it was our first choice, amen. So right now, let's raise our hands to my friend. It's because I don't see him every day, every week. Second 
taken me through yeah. to get greatness yeah. out of me. Yeah. So many times, us as the people of God, what? What? we want the promises of God, huh? but we don't want to suffer with that same God. Yeah. Yeah. So the Bible tells us that if we suffer with him, yeah. oh. then after a while, yeah. Yeah. we will definitely reign with him. Right. So that means I got to go through something yeah. Yeah. to inherit the kingdom of God. It's not going to be given to me to raise it. It's not given to the swim down the strong. Yeah. But to the one that you want. That hold that. Yeah. That endure to the end. Yeah. Now the problem is, yeah. Yeah. are we focused on the reward? Yeah. Are we focused on those who run it with us? Oh. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Sister Jackson, yeah. you know how folks are. You gave an awesome welcome this morning. Yes, you know how we are in church, folks. She thinks she's the only one that can get a welcome. Come on. <laughs> she thinks she's the best welcome of the evening, if that's the word. Uh, but what Sister Jackson is trying to do is just serve the Lord yeah. in the area that she knows she can give her, him her best. Yeah. Yeah. But the problem with us church folk is we don't know what our best is. Oh. So our best become your best and your best and your best and your best till I get so burned out that I just stop coming. But the Bible is telling us that if you find what your best is, mm -hmm. the God that we serve has a reward for you serving in your best. Yeah. 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 What is my best? Is my best singing? It's more than just singing in the church. It's more than just preaching in the church. It's more than just ushering in the door. There's more in the house of God to do that you can serve instead of being mad at somebody else for doing it. Yeah. 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 Well, I feel like preaching this morning. Yeah. Yeah. But our problem is the people out there accept us for who we are. Yeah. Yeah. 
through the hokey pokey. Yeah. Turn the silver back. That's what it's all about. Yeah. The only thing I got a problem with on the hokey pokey yeah. is that in and out. Yeah. The Bible calls it, you cannot be lukewarm. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a season 
when we ought to be drawing closer to the one yeah. that can carry our burden. Yeah. But the problem is, in a song, I think Erica Badu sings that she said that bag lady, yeah. you're gonna miss your bus. Because you carry it. Too much stuff. Yeah. And some of us right now, we're carrying so much that we're at the brink of quitting. I'm ready to give up right now. I'm ready to throw in the towel on my marriage. I'm ready to throw in the towel on my children. I'm ready to quit that job. Yeah. But the Lord sent me here today All right. to tell you that it's not time to quit. Yeah. It's time to get another, another win. Yeah. It's time to draw closer uh -huh. to the one that you call on when you're in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. It's time to draw nearer to a God that can supply your every need. It's time to let go. Amen. And let go. Come on, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes we have a call Jesus in the room. All right. Yeah. See what 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 you thought of y'all got tired and sat down. No, it wasn't that. See what Jesus will do, he'll say, I'm gonna sit right here until you're ready to see me. Yeah. I want to see you. I want you to come see me. Yeah. I want you to call me into your situation. Yeah. I want you to tell me all about your problems. Yeah. And when you're telling me about them, I want you to just do what? He said, cast all your cares. Yeah. Yeah. He said, cast all your cares right up on him. Yeah. But the problem is, well, cast them today. And then go say, there you go, there you go. But, 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 I don't want you to whoop him like that. I, 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 I'll have it. So, it's okay. But let me tell you something. Yeah. When you go before the Lord, God, I, I will save him. And you say that, God, I know that you're going to work things out. Yeah. Sometimes it don't work out the way you want it to work out. Yeah. 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 It ain't handled the way you want it to be handled. Yeah. 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 But let me remind you what we're talking about today. Right. Even when it don't come out like you want it to come out, you just keep on serving. Yeah. 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 You just keep focused. Yeah. Because guess what? Even at the end of the day, there's a reward for those yeah. who stay focused. Yeah. 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 stay faithful.
this right here for now. Thank you. Because I done cast my cares on the Lord. I'm not picking the back and taking All right. <laughs> so I can't quit when rain comes. I cannot quit when the thunderstorms start. I cannot give up because things are not going like I want. I got to stay the course. And finally, our final point today is your reward. Is on the way. Mm. Let me tell you something. I know we serve a God. And we've heard that it's paying off after a while. We sing the song after a while. But I believe that God told us that He owns the cow. Everything. Yes, yes. On the hill. And everything that's on this earth belongs to Him. So if I belong to Him, that means I got access to what He has ownership of. I talked about 
my child don't talk about me. <laughs> I have an issue. Every now and then, you know, people like to tell you about yourself, and sometimes it's hard to hear when you have mistakes. But I'm in the season where the Lord is stretching me. He's perfecting the ministry on the inside of me. I told the Lord, Brother Jackson and Sister Jackson, because I didn't want to be a preacher. Oh, no, 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 no. No, Lord. No. I, I, didn't, I didn't come from no preaching background, and I was all right with being in the world. I was all right doing my thing. You hear me? I was all right slipping and sliding, and nobody had nothing to say to me. I was okay with that. But let me tell you something. When God anoints you from your mother's womb, it's, it's a different thing to inherit something. Because some preachers, most preachers, because my daddy was, I became. But my daddy was not. As a matter of fact, if I'll be honest, my dad wasn't close to the church. My mama wasn't close to the church. Unless it was a funeral, then they would go, and that's it. Or if I'm up singing, they'll come. So it had to be God's hand. That's where they got to be. Upon my life for me to be standing. Here. Why are you talking about that? It's because I want to encourage. Whoever sit in this place, yes, yes. just because you see criteria say you gotta come from this and gotta look like this, you gotta be like this, I come out and let you know that's not true. That's right, that's right. Because if you took criteria or look at my what I have right, you would say you don't you don't even qualify me no preacher. You, you, you let me sing, but preacher, hey, let me live good enough for that. But if it be real. It's the ones who live the worst Ooh. that can lead the best. Come on, man. Somebody said, why can't they lead the best? Because guess what? They can talk about, about experience. Yep. Yeah. I can talk about the late nights. I can talk about trying to. But serving the Lord. Even while I was doing what I was doing, I still serve the Lord. Oh, I still kept coming. Yeah. Even when they were talking about me slipping and sliding, I still kept coming. Right I kept. I looked beyond what they were saying, and I kept my eyes focused on the reward ahead. I kept saying, God, I know one day you're going to change me. Yeah. One day you're going to feel me. One day you're going to heal me. One day you're going to deliver me. But until that day, I was still serve. Yeah. And look what serving did. Serving the Lord. Yeah. It didn't wait until I was dead and going to start to spare up right. So wherever you are in this place, yeah. keep on serving. Yeah. Yeah. Don't give up. If you are not serving, let me light the fire under you. Hmm. It's time to serve. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Let me tell you something. Serving, you hear me talk about the ushers, the deacons, the preachers, and all those things. Those are the things that we highlight in the church. But these flows need to be vacuumed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And bathroom need to be clean. Yeah. The food needs to be served. Somebody in the prayer. Somebody needs to pick up the phone and say, Sister, you ran across my mind. I just want to call you and see if everything is all right. All right. That's a way of serving. Yeah, yeah. And let me say this. No one has to know that you serving in those capacities. Yeah. Right. You need a gold star for serving. Yeah. Because let me tell you what the Bible also says. If I get a reward from man, there's no reward for me in heaven. And that's the word of God. Yeah. So if you never pat me on my back, that's all right. Yeah. Because guess what? I'm working for the Bible. Just say I'm not working for man. I'm working for Jesus Christ. So if I work for him, he's going to reward me in the end. Yeah. So one more time. Wherever you are in this place, it's time to serve. Stop waiting on somebody to tell you where to go. And seek the Lord for yourself. And God will show you where you can serve at. Exactly. And be your best at. Yes. So serve the Lord. Yes, yes. It's going to pay off after a while. But guess what it's doing? It's paying right. those who are serving wholeheartedly yeah. and not willing to give up. Real. So if you learn nothing else on today, serve it with your whole heart. And when the time gets hard, don't give up. Push through those hard times. Because the Bible said, we've been do it for a It may happen right now. But there's something coming for me. In the day, the Bible says.
Lord. Say, joy is on the way. So I want to encourage us on today. Let's get back to serving God and not serving man. Because we serve him. The Bible says if we lift him up, then he'll draw. So but you got to serve him for him to be able to draw. If you learn nothing else, serve until it hurts. I love each and every one of you and pray that God blesses you all. God bless you. Serve the Lord, serve the Lord. We'll pay off after a while. Amen. It's not when you're looking for that blessing, but it's when the Lord is ready for you to receive that blessing. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Yes, sir. I told you. Serving. Yes, maybe one today. And you've been contemplating this for a long time. Lord, have no fear in you that we can do anything that the Lord has put on our heart to do. Amen. We'll serve in those levels of serving. Heaven, God. Not just sitting in the pew, but when you're gone, there's a lot of things to do in the church. Amen. Isn't it nice and bright in here? The lights, amen, it's bright. Just like at home, every month, we get a head spirit. Amen. Keep it up. Means serving the Lord. He will. Thank you. 